Have you ever wanted to track aircraft using ADS-B on Linux, but had issues with Virtual Radar Server? Well, VRS works well, I find it a bit cumbersome, and on Linux it requires some manual file editing, as well as MonoComplete to be installed, which can feel heavy, especially on systems with limited disk space. Introducing Wave ADS-B, a simple SPS-1 aircraft plotting application that's fed by Dump1090. This Flutter application compiles down to a native binary and features offline maps and flight path tracking. Before we can get everything up and running, we'll first want to get a copy of Dump1090 running on our local machine. Go ahead and copy the link below, open a new terminal, and preferably in a new folder, run git clone and the link provided. This will download a copy of the source code for Dump1090 to your computer, and from there we can simply run the make command in order to build the application. Once everything is complete, you can go ahead and run dump 1090 with the dash dash net flag, which will enable the SBS-1 output required by Wave ADS-B for flight path tracking. While you're welcome to download and compile the source code yourself, I have also provided a binary on my website, sarahsforge.dev, in the link below. If you'd like to, you can download from my website. You can download this completely free, but it is a pay-what-you-want model, so if you'd like to give a small donation for uh, working on the application, that is more than uh, appreciated. And once complete, you can return to your dashboard where you'll be able to download a copy of the compiled binary. Once downloaded, you can go ahead and extract this to a folder of your choice, and we'll go ahead and run the Wave ADS-B binary. Once you have Wave ADS-B up and running, you'll want to go ahead over to the Configure option, and then from the drop-down, we'll be selecting Feeds, click the plus button, and we'll go ahead and give a name to our SBS-1 feed. Uh, everything is default here because this is just going to use the dump 1090 with the net flag, and it's going to be using the default port uh, for its SBS feed. And as you can see, the map is already populated with the aircraft overhead. Once we click on an aircraft, we can see more information about that particular flight. If we go back up to configure, we can come down to map. We also have an offline maps option, so we can download a copy of all the tiles for a given area around our home location. And the home location could be selected just by right clicking anywhere on the map. My home location was already set. And then we can go ahead and enable offline mode. And once that's done, you'll be able to zoom in and out, and it will have saved all of those tiles around the given radius that you selected. And with that, I want to thank everyone who has supported me over the years, from my YouTube subscribers, my patrons, and those who have purchased things on my website, sarahsforge.dev. All of you have made a huge contribution um, to help me move forward with my projects and different uh, things along the lines in, um, of radio, just in my hobby. And uh, it's been amazing to have you guys there with me uh, going through it all. So if uh, you found this interesting, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!